Okay, example 3, a discrete random variable x has the following probability distribution table. So we have the value of x, which is 1, 2, and t, and the, pro and the corresponding probability 0 0.1, 0 0.2, and 0 0.7. Alright, so for this question, first one, we need to find the value of t if given that the expected value of x is 4. Alright, so that is the first part of the question. Alright, so the first question is we need to find the value of t here. So we know that from the first uh, question given to us, which is ex is equals to 4. Alright, so we can use this information to find t. Right, so we know that the expected value of x, the formula is the summation of x times its corresponding probability. So if we do again, if we apply this formula again, and we know that the answer must be 4, from there we can solve that equation, we can find the value of t. Right, so to find the summation, the first one is 1 multiplied with 0 0.1 plus the second value of x is 2, multiply with its probability 0 0.2, and the third one is t times 0 0.7, and we know this is equals to 4. Right, so for the first one, we get 0 0.1, and the second one, we get 0 0.4, plus 0 0.7t is equals to 4. So if we solve this equation, we can find the value of t. So this is equals to 0 0.5, and then we can bring 0 0.5 to the right hand side. So we get 0 0.7t is equals to 4 minus 0 0.5 is 3.5. So to get t, we can divide both sides by 0 0.7. So 3.5 divided by 0 0.7, this is equals to 5. So we know the value of t is 5. Alright, so we finish with the first part of the question. Now the second part of the question is we need to calculate e 3x plus 2, the variant of 2x minus 1 and the variant of 1 minus 1 minus 3x. Alright, so we do the first part first. Alright, so the first one we need to find e 3x plus 2. Alright, so for this question, we can use the properties, this property here, which is E, AX plus B is equals to AEX plus B. Alright, so that means E, 3X plus 2 is also equals to 3EX plus 2. And we already know the value for EX, which is 4, so we just substitute here, EX is equals to 4. So 3 times 4 plus 2, which is 12 plus 2, and this is equals to 14. Alright, so here I put some remark here. We use properties. Okay, E, E, X plus B is equals to A, E, X plus B. Alright, so that is the first part of question B. The second part of question B we need to find the variance of 2x minus 1. Right, so for this question, we also can use the properties. We have the properties of variance. Variance of ax plus b is equals to a squared variant x. So we just multiply the variant of x with a squared. So for this question, this is also equivalent to 2 squared variant of x. Or this is equal to 4 variant of x. But we need to find the variant of x first. So variant of x, the formula is... Right, so we already know ex, but we still need to find ex squared. So we need to find ex squared, so we do it here. So ex squared is e the summation of x squared times its probability. Alright, so from the table, the first value is 1. Okay, the first value is 1 times its probability is 0 0.1. Oh, sorry, 1, we need to square it first. 1 squared times 0 0.1. Okay, the second value of x is 2 and its probability is 0 0.2. So we have 2 squared times 0 0.2 
and the third value of x is t but we already know the value of t is 5 so we can substitute there t is 5 so 5 square okay we need to square it before we multiply with its probability which is 0 0.7 Alright, so if we calculate this, we get ex squared is equals to 18.4. So now we can substitute this value into the formula of variance. So ex squared is 18.4 minus ex is 4 squared. So this is 18.4 minus 16 or this is equals to 2.4. Alright, so we want to find the variant of we want to find the variant of 2x minus 1 and we already know that variant of 2x minus 1 is equivalent to 4 times variant of x and we know that variant of x is 2.4 so we can substitute the value here 2.4 so this is equals to 9.6 Alright, so we finish with the second part of question B, which is variant of 2x minus 1. And the third question is we need to find the variance of 1 minus, uh, variant of 1 minus 3x. Right, so the third question is variance of 1 minus 3x. So we also can use the properties. We know that variance of ax plus b is equals to a squared. So a here is negative 3. So we bring out negative 3 outside. And then we square it and then multiply with variance of x. So this is equals to 9 times variance of x. And we already know the value for the variance of x which is 2.4. So we can substitute 2.4 here. And this is equals to 21.6.